So the, the idea was to um, make the flip classroom, you know, the concept of the flip classroom where you learn content at home or on your own time. And then during the classroom, you work on activities and, and you work on coaching one on one was to make that flip classroom a little bit more of my own and um, make it more interactive with uh, with the students. Um, so I I noticed in the past five years, let's say five, six years, give or take, that there's been a, a exponential increase in uh, content delivery online, but also content uh, consumption online. A lot of my students um, look at their phone during class, uh, and so I'm assuming they're not watching me at that point, they're watching something else. Um, and so I wanted to tap into that so that um, they would actually use their phones or their or their laptop to watch something useful for the class um, and uh, engage them into something that is different which is learning about the content at home or on their own time on the bus hopefully not in the car right um, and uh, so I started to think about what can I do. So first I looked at uh, videos that existed uh, on YouTube or on the web. I used those videos for a semester. That was uh, interesting, but uh, it was pretty much the same result in terms of engagement, uh, meaning did they watch the videos? Well, they watched the videos as much as they read the chapters, so there was no effect, if you wish, of the videos. Um, and um, and so I said, well, maybe I need to do something different, right? And, and I didn't really want to shoot myself on videos. I don't think that I'm this, you know, captivating. Um, and I felt that maybe it was going to be boring. Um, so I, I started to think about maybe doing something with uh, art design, with somebody doing drawings and talking over that. Um, this didn't really work out. It was sort of a big project and there was no funding for it. So, so then I revert to, well, what if I would do two, three minutes videos of myself explaining uh, in plain words, you know, the gist of one chapter. And so, you know, we have 15 chapters more or less in one semester. Um, and so we uh, started to shoot those videos based on a scenario that I came up with. And, um, and we had, after I think a, a whole summer of work, we had uh, 15 chapters of, um, of videos. Uh, each video included uh, me talking about the chapter and then uh, some content that was added uh, to the video to make it a little bit more lively so it's not just me talking on camera but it's also you see some uh, some content there you'll have all different prices and different targets the glass of lemonade might be targeting the passerby on the street in hope that he or she will like it enough to get it was put together in a professional way um, with the brand you know Towson brand and I felt that was really the most uh, interesting aspect of the whole thing. I could have shot the videos at home, you know, using my uh, my camera on, on the on the computer, but I don't think it would have been um, showing really the Towson brand and what we can do. And so, for students, my hope at that point was that it would be um, interesting because a it's the prof talking. Uh, B, I can, you know, I, I can see it on my phone, but I can watch it on my computer. So it's very flexible. Um, uh, and then finally, there's the Tarson brand. So I see that. I know it's coming from Tarson. It's not pulled from somewhere else. And therefore, um, I trust it and I'm interested in it. And I feel that there's value in it. It's not just the prof talking. It's something that has been put together professionally. Mm -hmm.